Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today, I wanted to look at rest machining and how you target uh, leftover material that remains from a larger cutter. So the first thing we want to do is load up our uh, 2D milling strategy and we're going to load in three different pockets because we're going to use three different tools. Okay, The first tool we're going to use we're going to set up our tool size here and then we're going to come into our patterns we're going to use adaptive roughing I'm going to do a 10% uh, 10 percent step over and we'll go ahead and compute that tool path so this is the first larger tool and uh, it's going to go in and clear out the majority of the material but what's going to happen is uh, because we have these square corners here it's actually a really small radius in those corners and uh, so there's going to be leftover material between where that end mill is and where those corners are. So we want to be able to address that with uh, a strategy, and that's actually why we have three different pockets. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a second. Okay, so we've done our open pocketing. It's come in here. It's cleared out the majority of the material, but we're going to have leftover material here and leftover material here uh, because this larger tool can't come in here and clean up this this material. So we're going to come back to our feature and edit, and then we're going to go to the the next pocket in the list here, and then we're going to set up our next tool size. Okay, so. Again, we're going to set up our tool size, we're going to come to our patterns, we're going to do adaptive roughing, we're going to set our step over, and then you see this option that says rest roughing, we're going to click that and what it will do is load the previous tool information, okay? So we're going to go ahead and finish and then we're going to, uh, let me change the color of this to blue, and then we'll compute our tool path. And now you can see the second tool is coming in here and cleaning up where the first tool wasn't able to get to, okay? So we have the first tool, it's leaving materials in the corner. We have the second tool that's cleaning up the material in the corner. Now sometimes, depending on uh, the geometry, there's a lot of variables. Sometimes this tool doesn't actually clean up all the material. You can run into an area right around here. So there's a really easy way to fix that. If you want to adjust how uh, far back that tool is going to be, uh, that tool path is going to be generated or the boundary for that tool path, you can just come in here and you can adjust the previous tool diameter. And that will bump back the tool path. Um, and allow it to clean up some additional material. You can see how it cleans up some more now. So it moved from here to here and that should do a good job cleaning up any leftover material that might be at that intersection. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is use an even smaller tool. It's going to be the third tool here. This one's going to be a ball mill. Okay. So we're going to set up our tool size. We're going to come to our pattern. We're going to do advanced pocket. Uh, adaptive roughing again we're gonna do 10% step over we may step it down to an even smaller amount we're gonna load our rest roughing we're gonna bump up our tool size again and then we're gonna finish and then we're gonna compute and now you can see that we have an additional tool path to come in here and really clean up the corners now one of the things that you'll notice is the radius that's being generated here okay now you may want this radius to increase in size or decrease in size so if we go back to this feature you can see under uh, patterns you have a miniature uh, minimal curvature radius and what we can do is we can drop this down in size and then that will allow smaller loops to be generated so it gets in e it gets in even tighter in the corners okay so if we increase that number and we'll do that again so we'll come in here under pattern we'll make this 0.03 finish come back and compute so now you can see the radiuses are larger and again this is just adding additional control over where the cutter will fit and the smaller this number is, the smaller of an area it will fit into, the larger number, uh, the larger of an area you'll need in order for the, the tool path to be generated in there. So again, that's going to come in and clean up that material. The last thing we want to do is run this through a simulation so we can simulate what's going on. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, uh, feedback, just let me know. You can reply back to the Facebook, uh, the YouTube page. I'll probably throw this video up in... Uh, 
a forum or two just showing off people uh, different features and functions in the software. Again, all these videos come from user feedback, so if you guys have a specific question, guys or gals, have a specific question about a feature in Bobcat and how to use it in your application, in your shop, just let me know. Send me an email, uh, you know, uh, a message on Facebook, whatever the case might be. I'm a pretty accessible guy, uh, able to be reached uh, almost at any time. <laughs> um, so just reach out to me and I'll be more than willing to work with you. So again, we have our first tool, our second tool, and then our third tool to come in here and clean up this material. Uh, what I want to do once it's done being generated, I'm going to come over to my uh, simulation. We're going to change this to a deviation report. We're going to measure uh, the difference to see if we have any leftover material here. We get a color chart and some values so we have an, we have an idea if there is any leftover material. Again, um, if there is, we can go back and adjust our settings uh, until we have everything that we need. So here's our deviation. Uh, we can go ahead and run our analysis and then this will show us we're within this tolerance right here. So again, I appreciate everybody's time today and look forward to catching up with you in the next video. Thank you so much.